Hey, morning guys. So it's uh, day three. We're just getting ready now. So. The sun rose on a quite a nice morning. As you can see, nice pink colors on the hills as well. So, uh, hopefully we can get the bones out and get the vultures uh, against this pink sky. Got a few minutes before the sun rises and starts casting shadows. But it's still very low light, so high ISO shooting. I'm just going to grab the bones now and put them out. So the sun is just rising now uh, from basically the right of where the car is parked. Grab the bones. We've got 20 kilos again today, so I can put out a bag. So yeah, uh, yesterday the bones got hammered again. Um, before the vultures were out, uh, almost. So by the time the vultures were, you know, doing the flybys and stuff. There were almost no bones left, so we're gonna try and avoid that today. So what I've been trying to do is put out these bigger bones right at the back. So hopefully the ravens can't get them and pick them up and take them off from here. That way we get a few more bones still out for later. And uh, hopefully we get a bell vulture come in and grab one of these bigger, bigger bones. So yeah, we leave the biggest bones out here at the farthest ledge. You can see there's the height there with, I think, Vikash and Nihal standing out. So yeah, we're ready. We set up. Hopefully we get the vultures coming past. Hopefully we also get the jackal busted.
How's it guys? We're back now. It's day three. Day three was a quieter day, so Vikash and outside the hide. Vikash finally made it after running into I don't know how many protests on the way here and other action. Still alive. Still alive. But he's tempting it sitting on the edge like that. So yeah, a bit of a quieter morning. Uh, all the bones are almost gone now. Um, not many flybys today from the bearded vultures, but uh, we did get the jackal buzzard come through again. And today we got the rock kestrel sitting a bit farther down, but they sat nicely for a little while so we could get them. I think sighting of the morning was a gymnogene or a African harrier hawk that flew past and then the uh, rock kestrels uh, basically just dive bomb them which was quite good to see but uh, only Vikash got uh, images so um, yeah otherwise a very quiet morning we're gonna give it maybe another half an hour or so and then start heading down maybe tomorrow will be a little bit better uh, and then for this afternoon we're gonna try and get down to the river and maybe get some long exposure shots as I think it's going to be cloudy in the evening, so Astro may be out for tonight. But last night we got some good Astro. Um, so yeah, uh, it's quite a quiet morning today, but uh, you know, you get those days. Uh, one more day tomorrow, and then we done uh, with our four days in the hide. Been quite a productive trip up to this point, but uh, let's see what tomorrow holds. Okay guys, so we back down from the hide uh, now, may have a quick lunch and then maybe grab an afternoon nap because after day three we're quite tired um, and then uh, find our way down uh, to the river. Yesterday we walked uh, along the path, uh, we didn't quite get the river but we got some nice compositions for the astro and then once we found the composition we uh, went back later in the night and, and set up. So today we're going to try and get down to the river as the sun sets and maybe get some long exposure shots on the river itself. Um, so I just wanted to update on the uh, birds list. Uh, so yesterday walking around in the camp, we saw a, a streaky headed seed eater. So that would have been 469 for me. And then uh, this morning um, driving down that steep road from the top uh, at the vulture hide uh, in the uh, car path, uh, the, the track, um, there were two, no, there were four uh, Franklins uh, sitting in the track. So uh, we got our, or we stopped and we quickly took some photos and then PJ confirmed that it is, uh, what Franklin is it, PJ? Um, Grey winged Franklin. Grey winged Franklin. So um, that's a new one for me as well. And uh, that takes me to 470 now. So uh, 30 away from 500. And yeah, we keep uh, adding the odd bird here and there. Hopefully uh, can get down to St. Lucia next month or uh, you know somewhere in that Northern KZN uh, region and uh, try and go look for the mangrove uh, kingfisher, but then add a few more birds along the way as well and get it closer to 500. Okay, so uh, I think we'll sign off for today. Uh, if we do get anything exciting, I'll post it uh, to the video as well in terms of, uh, you know, landscapes at the river. And then, yeah, we'll catch you in the morning tomorrow. Yeah, seems like the way to go down to the river. Yo, looks like you can catch a little heavy drop here. Mm. Also walking in the night time.
How are we gonna get back up? No, there's a better route, I think. A boon shit. Where? I don't know if it's a better route. It's just another route. Probably it's a long way down, eh? Morning guys, we here again at reception, picking up the bones. Um, had a few drops of rain last night and uh, looks like it's going to be a cloudy, musty start. So let's see how that plays out for the vultures. Um, yesterday we had a very quiet good day. so. Hoping for some action today um, So because it's the last morning we had to check out so we packed up the cars and brought them down to reception uh, Check out time is 10 o'clock and if you're up at the hide you don't want to be rushed to come back down So you want as full a session as possible if you were checking out at 10 o'clock you'd need to leave the hide probably you know, closer to 9 so that you can come down pack up your stuff and then make a move so what we decided is no we'd rather just check out now in the morning and that gives us no pressure on the hide. <coughs> so yeah, hoping for a better morning today. But let's see how it goes. Last one of the four days. It's been a great four days. Time flies much faster when you're out here. Hey guys, so as you can see it's a very cloudy day today and uh, very few birds around so light is not the best. Hopefully it'll improve as the sun comes up and burns off some of these early morning musty clouds. But uh, yeah, we'll put out the bones, see what comes through. Never know, maybe we'll get some good Shots though. Must uh, be set up when the ravens come in and call, they may um, have that mist from their mouth. It's not extremely cold, it's just cold. But very gloomy. I think this is part of the reason why we book four days. 
so that if there are days like this, you know, we we'll at least get a few days with better lighting. So then you can get your shots in. So the first two days were very good. Yesterday was quiet, but the light was all right. And today is now misty and rainy. Okay, we're just gonna put the bones out and then set up and then be ready for what may come. How's it guys? So uh, it's about half past 10 now, quarter to 11. And uh, we're just about ready to call it a day uh, for day four. Uh, another quiet start to the morning. It, it took a while before the action actually got up. I think two hours of barely any shooting. And then uh, we had a adult jackal buzzard come through, a juvenile jackal buzzard come through and then a second uh, adult jackal buzzard, maybe the first one, but he returned, uh, come through and, and try and take some meat away again. Um, so yeah, it, it picked up and then now just around uh, maybe quarter to 10, maybe 10 o'clock, um, the vultures started coming uh, a little bit closer and give us a few flybys, but you know, nothing like the first two days, but um, at least you know we, we got to see them again just before we go uh, lights gone a bit too harsh to be shooting now so we didn't get any great shots of them uh, I tried to get some video of them and uh, hopefully you know I got some good video as well um, other than that I think it's been uh, quite an awesome four days guiding uh, you know three other bird photographers uh, along 
as they uh, discover first the uh, vulture hide and then you know um, how much they can do with their cameras as well that was uh, quite good to see uh, the progress uh, you know from day one to day four um, yeah so this is the end of our giant's castle trip just one more um, drive down to the bottom uh, over the two track road and then uh, making our way back to Johannesburg which is going to be you know a good three four hour drive maybe five hour drive actually with a stop in between so yeah uh, good weekend uh, cold uh, some good action to start with and then two quiet days but that's why we book four days uh, you know to avoid relying too much on the weather and uh, you know the birds being active on you know maybe one day or two days so yeah um, I think I'm going to get back and uh, then almost immediately book next July's uh, trip I think you have to limit it to uh, three photographers in the hide and, and the fourth person being, being me the guide uh, it's very difficult to shoot out of the last slot because the angle the hill um, cuts off the angle on most of the birds and I saw that with the jackal buzzard today so it's going to be three photographers and uh, myself and we'll probably aim to do it around this time of the year again oh the jackal buzzard's up in the air now oh and he just on his vultures up high as well so I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but the juvenile jackal buzzard is just doing a slow flyby. And then we're getting, getting a vulture come past as well. That juvenile jackal buzzard was sitting on a tree for the better part of two hours now, I'd say. After he came past us, he flew down at the bottom of the ridge and then he landed, I see he landed now as well. <laughs> so the guys were standing outside the hide just waiting to get up so we got some last action just before we, we <laughs> made our way. So that was a, well hopefully we got some nice, uh, they got some nice shots and yeah. Time to make a move.